Hello everyone. Namaste. It is I, Jean Visa, just helping to raise the vibration of our collective consciousness. And God wants me to share something with you. So I've turned the machine back on this morning and I'm going to share something. I hadn't intended on it, but I'm hearing the voices, you know. So, and this is about heaven and hell. <laughs> and God is like, tell them, tell them, tell them, you know. Hell, when it comes to hell, this is not an invention of God, okay? <laughs> God is about, through the goddess, you see, raising our vibration, about easing our pain and putting our mind in the it's about a high consciousness, a high vibration, and wonderful feelings. Hell, the idea of hell is like in a fire and brimstone and eternal suffering. Well, eternal suffering is not what God wants to perpetuate, okay? Punishment. God's not about punishment. You, we, we punish ourselves by, by separating ourselves from that which is God. All that is hell is the absence of all that is God. Hell is an invention of, you know, the other side. Is it exactly? It is, all it is is absence. And and all those who, who would say to you, you know, you if you do this or if you do that or if you live this way, you're going to live, you're going to go to hell when you die. <laughs> oh. Heaven and hell is about your aliveness, not about what happens when you're dead, okay? It's about your aliveness. It's where your focus is. It's your experience of life. If you focus on awful things, your experience of life is going to be awful. When you, If you instead turn your attention to the wonderful good things of life, then life becomes heavenly. You see? You know? Oh, I'd rather taste of a ripe plum mm, right from the tree. How heavenly is that? The taste of a beautiful ripe strawberry. Oh, oh my God, this is everything better, you know? The feel of the warm sun on your skin. The feel of the puny, puny, puny. The feel of my own hair through my fingers. Heavenly things. The taste of a good, strong cup of coffee in the morning, right? Mm. Yeah, so God was just like in my head, tell them, tell them, tell them. That hell is not God's doing. God is about removing us from fear. He doesn't want us to be tortured, everlasting torment. Oh, everlasting torment is the, is the other one's business, not God, you see? God releases you from torment. Says, don't, don't be tormented. Life is supposed to be heavenly. Please put your attention here in heaven. Please put your attention there. And then when you when you shed this earthly body, where your attention is, where your focus is, where you where your mindset is. Now all you have is your mindset. You know? Life is to build this mindset. Build heaven in your mind. So you'll experience a heavenly life. And when you shed this earthly form, that's the vibration you'll be on. You'll be take you'll be there. You see what I'm saying? You put yourself there. It's the vibration that you're on. If you're in a low vibration when you shed this heavenly I mean when, this earthly body, you're you're in that low vibration. And, you know, if that's what you concern yourself with, well that's where you're stuck. We need to transcend while we're alive, say? Don't put yourself in that torment. You put yourself there. It's not punishment by God. God doesn't want us to be punished. God does not want torment. Doesn't want that low vibration infiltrating we sacred human beings created as God. And you don't, in, in every bit of our DNA, we have the opportunity to step into this heavenly vibration and that's what it's about. God wants us in heaven, not hell. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
that's why we, we say this forgiveness you know it's not about oh god forgive me it's about you forgiving you we are god in a sense you have to be that's what this christ consciousness is about it's about daring to understand that the vibration of god is in every single teeny teeny bit of you as a collective the consciousness is there for you you really can step up into it you really can feel heavenly and happy you really can focus on the good things i say can can you tell i'm from new england you really can focus on the good things in life you really can just exist in the highest frequency possible from the love in your heart let yourself see beauty and feel joy these are the things of god so <laughs> You know, I know one of my songs, you know, um, Antigone. So, you know, and just like Antigone, it's the same for you as for me. Because we'll be dead a lot longer than we'll be alive. And we pave the way to our futures as we contrive. When you're crossing that river sticks, you don't want to get caught up in that mix. There's no boatman needed to get you to the other side. On the wings of a good soul, you just fly. Let me explain, you know, it's, um, the, the point of Antigone, you know, her, 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 her two brothers had fought, okay, and one had killed the other, and the, the oh, they both killed each other, I think, they were, there they were dead, okay, and, um, what happened, okay, I gotta go back, okay, the, the, the king, before he died, said, here's your two brothers, first this one will rule, and in ten years, the other one will come back and it'll be his turn to rule. When the second one came back, the first one didn't want to give up his rule. So they fought. And they were both killed. But the one, um, the the uncle, I guess he, he was now in charge. And he said, well, the, the, the one who was king for, the, for that 10 years now, we're going to give him king's honors. But the other brother who came back to take his rightful place, we're going to treat him like a rogue, like, 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 you know, a barbarian. And we're going to leave his caucus out in the, in, in, on the battlefield to get picked at like crows, right? Well, there's, now there's two sisters as well. And one of the sisters, okay, says, I'm not leaving my brother out there. I don't care what uncle so-and-so says, you see? They're both my brothers. I'm honoring my brother. See, this will be dead a lot longer than we'll be alive. You have to honor your soul. This is my brother. They're both my brothers. I love them. And when I'm on the other side, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You know, I honor God. I honor the realist inside me. I, I do not leave my brother to be picked at by crows, okay? I'm going to perform the rituals. And then they used to, you know, wrap the body and anoint them and put the two coin, coins for the boatman. And the two coins for the boatman thing, okay that's that's a fabrication that's a fabrication by the same forces that are trying to hold you down now making you think that money has a bearing on your soul and it doesn't okay um that's what they would tell the soldiers you know you're selling your soul to the devil to become a soldier because you're not going to be you know you're not going to be helping your fellow man you're going to be going off and killing them you know saying and that's what it's about it's like selling your soul to the state okay so now you don't have a good soul where you can fly across the river sticks but if you pay the boat man he'll still get you there <laughs> please okay please <laughs> no the the <laughs> Oh yeah, the boatman will give you a ride, yeah. He's going to give you a ride around and around and around and around and then jump your ass in the river. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They don't, the only way to get across is I'm a good soul. You see what I'm saying? You can't pay the boatman. The money is a fabrication. Money isn't even real. It's just an idea. Okay? It's a tool to hold you down. It's a tool to make you believe a lie. That's what it is, okay? 
the river sticks, as they say. When you shed this earthly form, and you go through this cycle of energies, and you come back to the earthly realm to get it right this time, you know, to learn all of the lessons of why the last life, excuse me, why the last life was the way it was, and the circumstances, you know, all of the things you had to face in the last life, and then the last however many lives you've been here, is all just to hone your spirit toward, ah, you know, it's, it's, it's like, um, you know, when the shepherd has to, but you know, the dog has to bark at you over this way, you know, he put the dog there, he's like, whoa, 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 go that way, they, they're helping you to go the right way, that's what it is, you know, they, didn't, they don't send the, the dog over there to, 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 to rip apart the, the, the flock, <laughs> to hurt the flock, no, the, the, the dog is there to, to help the flock go the correct way, that's all it is, everything, okay, God, just wants you in that high vibration of happiness, doesn't want to see you in everlasting torment, Life experience consciousness. It's not about being in torment. Consciousness. It's about raising your consciousness. And then, then that's really the only true existence there is, is consciousness. Whether you're manifested in a human form, whether you're manifested in a gaseous form, whether you're manifested in light, whether you're manifested as a mineral, it's all about consciousness and vibration. It's about allowing yourself to be in the highest vibration, okay, and then none of it matters, when you're in that highest vibration, the truth is evident, you'll see, you know, you don't have to know the truth first and then vibrate high, you just vibrate high and then, and then everything is truth because you're living in your truth, you're being in the truth, all you have to do is let it in, so, <laughs> Namaste, everyone. Be heavenly. I love you. Until next time.